Just stay for a minute, lay your body on the bed, spend a day or two in it. If I hit you on the road, then I'm trying to get in it. You my baby, you my girl, so you go. Hey, yo, what's up with the game? We back again with another reaction. At this point, although, bro, you might be a wavy boy at this point, cousin. Uh, damn near, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You did it in the group. Listen, we got Anne Marie, the one. And you know, I'm from Chicago, so you know I got to support my Chirac people, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about her, she gangster, bro. Sometimes you might get a gangster song, sometimes you might get a lovey dovey song. It just depends. But this one called The One. So I'm pretty sure this one might be a. Uh, might be a lovey dovey vibe a little bit. I've you know never heard of this girl before, bro. Like I said, w like when we were searching it up, I found like five different Anne Marie's, bro. <laughs> he did, he did. One of them was Canadian. Another one, <laughs> another one was like this. Like a Caucasian lady. Yep, yeah, bro. What's it crazy was... is like she's so underrated to me. Like her music is fire, but she's not big as she should be. Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, I don't know why. It's just, you know, sometimes the music algorithm only go to so many people. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I feel like she just needs to do a collab with a top, top artist. Such as like a Nikki or Drake or something like that mm -hmm. to really put herself fully out there. Oh, for sure. Or she just don't care. She's just happy where she is in the music industry. She's not really trying to blow up and be mainstream just because you know what they got to do to get there. <laughs> Diddy oh, parties. Uh -huh. She ain't trying to do no Diddy party. <laughs> so we go see what this is talking about. You know what I'm saying? Called The One. Right. So press that like, comment, subscribe. I'm using my toothbrush, folks. All right, so she a boss bitch. Never mind. I thought it was going to be a lovey dovey song when it said the one. But now she's talking about, like, I ain't the type of female to take a nigga back or, you know what I'm saying, feed into your lies. She'll call your bluff off the rip. Now, starting off the video, I don't know if that was his phone ringing or her phone ringing, mm -hmm. but whoever's it was, if the phone face down, I ain't gonna cap. I know, me personally, my phone always either face down or in, it's in somewhere, but if you with your girl, your phone always face down, nine times out of ten, she probably gonna think you're cheating, bro. I ain't oh, gonna cap. Sure. Your mm -hmm. phone ring, you gotta pick it up, look at it first, put it back down, face down, like, yeah, bro, you're doing something a little suspect, bro. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if that was her phone or his phone. If it was hers... Same thing. I think you're cheating. Shorty, why your phone on your face like that? You know what I'm saying? How come when you talk or you text, you got to leave the room or you got to turn your body? So, I don't know. That, that, that'd be rubbing yeah, me the wrong way. Bro. Yeah, yeah like, I'd I be looking at certain tendencies and shit. Like, if you talk to a girl, it's like, it's just how they maneuver. Like, you kind of, you sneaky. You can tell. It's mm -hmm. how they do shit. Like, oh, yeah, you be cheating. It was me, it was chill. So, you he cook. Oh, she cheated. Didn't they just break up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused, bro. So they didn't break up. She just they got into an argument in the bathroom. I think they oh. live with each other and they together type shit. But I don't, I don't know. Like I don't know what he did to make her act this way. You know what I'm saying? Because females just don't jump relationship and act like this unless you give them a reason. But the way she just walked up to him saying that he cooking breakfast for her and shit like that. And she like, oh, that look good. Give him a kiss on the cheek? I'm cooking you breakfast, man. I better get a kiss, kiss the fuck. So he cheated. I don't know if he cheated. That's the thing. The video started off with her just already saying niggas ain't shit and she ain't gonna <laughs> take no man back and uh -huh. shit like that. And then she she walked into the kitchen with him cooking. You would think, no, that's what, as a female, you would want your man cooking for you sometime. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't want to be the one cooking. He cooking you a decent breakfast. You know what I'm saying? The, Bacon wasn't burnt. <laughs> the pancakes <laughs> look nice and fluffy. You know what I'm saying? And she walks in there. Oh, this look good. Kiss on the cheek, and then grabs one and walks away. Mm. Like, listen, shorty, whatever we going through, you, you can sit down and eat at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's that bad, then let me know, and I get the fuck out of here. Mm. Cause it ain't no way you finna be disrespecting me. Cause then he got mad and threw this thing in the sink. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> bro, what's going Damn. on? Uh -huh. Who toxic? Is she by video games? Cause baby, I ain't the bitch that's gonna 
watch your page, wanna see what you say. I'm just in the to go on my day. I hate the ex to make it hard on the next. I ain't never that press, bitch. I leave niggas so on get low. I hate the bitches gonna be sitting in touch. Trying to bring up our past, baby. I don't give a fuck up. She kind of giving me the vibe of she the nigga. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna cap the mm -hmm. way he acting a straight female ish, and no, the way she sure. acting a straight. She acting like a dude, bro. Yeah. yeah, and it's like she from Chicago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chicago women do act like that, bro. My mama is straight gangster, bro. Like she don't Damn. take none of that shit. She she loud. She will cuss you out. She <laughs> feeling some type of way. She want to fight. Like my mama gangster, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like Damn. Chicago women are just like that. That's why I don't. That's why I want to move so bad, bro. Uh -huh. Cause it's like, bro, I'm not gonna date none of this like this, bro. Uh, I'd be damn, be talking to me uh -huh. crazy and. Playing a video game, pushing my head away, girl. You know what I'm, saying? I'm about to call my sister to beat you. Man, stop playing with me. You know I'm saying I can't, I can't. No disrespect to the Chicago women and everything that watch these reactions, but y'all, y'all, y'all too much for me. I'm gonna just be 100. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a Chicago type of type of female. I moved to the Bay Area and Cali for a reason. You know I said I just want the, I want the Latinas. You know what I'm saying now if a black queen do come along, you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna be mad about it. You know what I'm about, you know what I'm saying <laughs> black of the berry, sweet of the juice. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. The ones in Chicago, nah. And then out there, they put Kool Aid on their lips, bro. Like, what? I got a couple family members, you know what I'm saying? So they use the Kool Aid packets, you know, like the red Kool Aids, put it on their lips, and it look like lipstick. Why do they do that? I don't know. I mean, me personally, as a kid, you would think it's normal, but as yeah. you get older, you're like, that shit ain't normal, bro. Who the fuck use Kool Aid? Oh, like grown women, like, put Kool Aid. Yeah, it's like Kool Aid on lips. If they don't got, like, lip gloss or nothing like that, just put the Kool Aid on there. So it got that taste to it. So if you kiss yeah. it, you still taste like, oh, it's sweet, but it's Kool Aid, bro. It's ratchet. Yeah, no. That's... Me personally, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you might as well uh, just throw some Kool Aid on the eyebrows too, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. I feel like she it's her house. Yeah, he lived with her. She said she's gonna show him that she gets ninjas. Ninjas. <laughs> I don't got that pass yet, guys. <laughs> Jason yeah. hasn't given me the pass yet, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm weak. What's crazy? He looked like he's just trying to beat her. <laughs> I want to know what he did to get act treated like this. <laughs> Yeah, bro. You gotta do your best one. You have to get up out of there. Damn. She bought all that shit. Damn. You were right, bro. That's definitely her house. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, you you can tell that's her house, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. He got to the point, he like, bro, you infinite just treat me like this. Like, oh, my thing man. is... I ain't your cap. I'd have played the role, you know what I'm saying? If I'm him, fuck it, then you want to treat me like that? Shorty, it mm -hmm. is what it is. I might be playing video games every day, kicking my feet up, eating corn chips on her couch. Mm -hmm. And I say, you going to kick me out before I get the fuck up out of here. I'm going to turn toxic. You want to be toxic? We both can play that game. We're going to get to a point you'll walk in here and be like, uh-uh, you got to go. Took you long enough. You know what I'm saying? I've been ready to bounce. I'm just waiting for you. Damn. But... I ain't gonna cap based on if he he cheated, did something wrong. I said that's his fault. She acted accordingly. She ain't she ain't get this man no time, even when he cooked for her. Cause we gotta think about it. When men start cooking and shit, you know, saying for that girl, cause usually the females be man wants cooking and shit mm. throwing down. Men to cook every blue moon like if they got kids or if they just want to do something special. But to just be randomly cooking on a that's call it a Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you you done fucked up, bro. You, you did know something. You you doing everything <laughs> in the possible to to make it up for it. So what did you do? So yeah, he done fucked up, saying he he gotta pay for it. That's on him. But yeah, that song was fire. So I like Anne Marie. I like how she always real. Uh, hopefully, you know, it was all for a real reason. You know what I'm saying? Cause she was giving that man a cold shoulder, playing video games, shoving him, yeah. all type of ish. But you know what I'm saying? At least he had enough self respect to leave. Bro. Yeah, instead of you know what I said arguing, want to put his hands on a woman, shit like that. He had enough self respect to realize, okay. You know, I fucked up. I got to face the consequences. I got to go. You know what I'm saying? And she looked at him. And at first, she looked like she was trying to stop him. Like, oh, what you doing? Yeah. I bought this. Well, she probably was like, I bought this shit. But like, you know what? You broke anyway. You can have it. She probably hit him with that. Because that oh, Chicago man. girl don't give a fuck. She'll hit your pride, bro. Uh -huh. <clears throat> shit, y'all. Press that like, comment, subscribe. It's the Wavy Boys.